and we're going to go back to the United States now because residents along the US Gulf Coast are hunkering down as Hurricane Francine makes landfall. The weather system is expected to bring life-threatening conditions, power outages to parts of Louisiana as well. Joining us live now, CNN's Ivan Rodriguez. Uh, Ivan, uh, I hope you're OK and I hope you can hear me. It looks like it is absolutely pelting down at the moment. Just give us an idea. Give us an idea of what it's like. I hope you're OK. Uh, Peter, it, the conditions have worsened uh, significantly uh, since we last spoke. Or actually, uh, now that we're speaking, since it made landfall uh, a couple, maybe 30, 40 minutes ago, it feels like it's even gotten a little bit stronger now, specifically where we are in Morgan City, uh, Louisiana. That wind really uh, picking up. You can see that rain just going sideways uh, with the wind coming this direction and then all of a sudden it'll go uh, another direction but it even makes it hard to really uh, turn around here and paint a picture for you of what we're seeing behind me but on this side here uh, we're standing maybe 15 feet away at the edge uh, of a lake the waves have been crashing non-stop all around me uh, in this park i'm seeing broken branches um it's beginning to flood in some areas of this park as well but it really has been non-stop pounding rain uh, we know that it made landfall as a category two hurricane and it really feels like morgan city right now is feeling uh, the heaviest part uh, right now i've been out here since six o'clock this morning and i can tell you peter this is the strongest uh, that it's felt all day long. Um, if it's flooding a little bit here, I imagine uh, and begin to wonder what it looks like in other parts of the city. In terms of power outages, we know more than 54,000 people across the state of Louisiana are without power. A big majority of them are in areas like I'm in now, close to the Gulf Coast. And we're expecting that number to increase even more. Just looking at this wind and rain, it really is uh, incredible uh, to witness firsthand. So what are the authorities telling you, Ivan? I mean, I know you mentioned there it's a Category 2 system. Are they expecting it to, th uh, to strengthen? At this point, now that it's made landfall, it's actually uh, predicted to, uh, if you can believe it or not, uh, begin to reduce its strength especially as it's making its way more toward inland of Louisiana. So through the night, we're gonna see rain and winds, but all of that should die down. Uh, it's hard to believe it now, but all of that should die down by the early morning hours. And by tomorrow morning, this is gonna be a completely different looking picture. Uh, but for now, I mean, this is, this is really hard to believe that it's gonna die down anytime soon. Well, we're talking about a completely different story in the full sunshine just last week, Ivan. Uh, so I appreciate you. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but you're actually getting pummeled there by the, by the weather. And thanks for standing up for us and speaking to us. I know you've got a busy day talking to all your affiliates, but thank you so much. Yeah, look at that. That is packing a punch. And uh, Ivan Rodriguez from CNN there, right in the middle of it. Thank you, Simon. We'll talk to you again soon.